all right what's going on everybody so today is thursday the 7th uh, let me tell you how my week went so pretty much picked up the truck um saturday evening from freightliner and i gave him a call i said hey you know i'm calling about my truck with vl truck and they're like yeah the truck has already been done somebody forgot to call you all right it is what it is um, truck sits at the truck stop till Monday morning. Dispatch gives me a load, picking up five minutes from my house. I uh, go and pick up that load. Um, truck is driving fine. Um, the load is 38,000 pounds, so it's a little on the heavier side, uh, heavier than what I like to pull. Um, pick the load up, um, start driving. Truck starts doing the exact same thing of what I put it in the shop for, which was the truck was um, jerking and making a loud squealing noise. So um, the truck pretty much felt like he was running out of gas, if you ask me. If I had to describe what, you know what I'm saying, was going on with the truck, felt like he was running out of fuel. So um, car freight on her up, you know what I'm saying? I exchanged some words with them. They're like, hey, bring the truck back. It was misdiagnosed. So um, that was Monday. So um, I go and deliver my load Tuesday morning with uh, no issues. Had that load delivered at 11.30, 30 minutes before the pay period was cut off. Um, then um, get the next load. So once I delivered that load, I had told my dispatcher, like, hey, I told him Monday that I need, I need another load to go straight back home. He was like, all right, cool. So um, once I delivered that load Tuesday uh, morning, I had already started driving back down. You know, um, it's, it's just, something's wrong with the truck. I'm not going to sit around and wait to see if, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to wait for a load, wait for a load. Uh, my la the last thing I want for that truck is to break down and I had to put on a tow truck so um started driving back down he got me a load picking up on um, Enola which is on the outskirts of um outskirts of um Tulsa so uh, luckily I was already heading down that way so when it um, got that load that load was scheduled for a 4 p.m. pickup and I got there at, if I'm not mistaken, I got there at a ton of nose in on this parking spot so really a little shady. So um, I got there at like around 1.30 and um, they got they went ahead and got me in the dock early. Like I said, it was a 4 p.m. pickup. So um, got in there, they didn't, I didn't get out of that dock. They started loading me soon I got in the dock. That's the crazy part. And um, soon I got out of the, um, I got out of the, um, by the time I got on the dock, it was already after 4.30. So I um, started driving back, um, on down. That load weighed 11,000 pounds. It was a load of um, napkins. So, um, come on. Me and the little one over here. We chilling, hanging out. So um, yeah, like I said, that was a load of napkins. Started driving down, but that the problem with that load is it had a 10 p.m. delivery for Wednesday night. So um, after reading all the reviews, they're pretty much saying that they they will only allow you to come in an hour early. So um, I went and um, bull, did some stuff around Houston, whatever you know. Got the load delivered, and um, I didn't get up out of there. I got I went there an hour and a half early. Everybody said they would allow you to come in an hour early. I went there an hour and a half early. Um, the place was packed, man. It, it was a cluster fuck up in there so um got up out of there about 12 30 um i drove home actually i drove straight to the um freightliner dealership so um i got there around two o'clock this morning and i shut down there um i shut down at the freightliner at two o'clock that morning and i sat there until they opened up and um once they opened up i pretty much pulled in dropped the trailer on the yard pulled the truck to the service um Move the truck to the service area where they, you know, do the services at, and then I got went home, and now we're out here. The missus over here getting her lady parts checked out. So while she doing that, me and the youngest sitting here chilling. We just went and got Bertha washed, um, um, vacuumed the inside, got us a little breakfast. So I don't know if I mentioned to y'all, but I did go ahead and get the AC fix on Bertha. So I got the AC fix, I got my tow mirrors installed, and then I do got a, a single den. Uh, seven inch flip out screen installed. They got a uh, navigation and a uh, backup camera. So um, yeah, truck is at Freightliner. Um, pretty much waiting for them to give me the call to let me know what's going on. Uh, more than likely, uh, what's today? Th like I said, today's Thursday, so I figured they would probably let me know something by Friday. If not Friday, then probably Saturday, because um, they are open on Saturdays until 2 p.m. 
So, um, you know, if they need to take a week or two to, to um, get that truck fixed, it is what it is, man. I'm going to sit at home and chill. My birthday is in 23 days. I'll be turning a big 29, 29. So, you know, hey, I was planning to take a week off anyway. So I already had one week and a half off just to work te technically three and a half days. And now I'm back home because of the truck issue. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is. It's part of the game, man. So, like I said, truck is at Freightliner. I'm back home. Um... And we just out and about doing stuff, man. I'm sleepy. Like I said, I didn't um, get to Freightliner until after 2 o'clock this morning. And then once I got there, I, I didn't even go to sleep for another, till, till like another, another hour later. So I didn't go to sleep till 3. And um, yeah, so that's what we got going on. Um, when they let me know something, I'll let y'all know something. Until then, hey, I'll catch you guys in another video. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And um, hey, we'll catch you in another one.